Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Tech Motoring. Paul here, and we are going on another road trip. And we're gonna be doing a lot of road trips this year in both of the cars, both the Mach-E as you see here, and the Tesla Model 3 Performance there. So we got another road trip scheduled. We are leaving tomorrow. Let's dive in, let's talk about where we're going and what we're doing, and uh, let's just talk about some future road trips too while we're at it. Let's dive in, hit the subscribe button, stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, everybody, welcome back. So Paul here again, and we are taking another road trip. We love doing these little road trips every year. It's March right now. The colder weather is lifting. Not that we really have cold weather here. It's usually pretty mild winters here in South Carolina, but now that the weather is getting nicer, we'd like to go out and do some more outdoor activities. And we'd like to get away for a little bit in the spring, you know, after the winter is over. It's right around my wife's birthday right now. So we'd like to get out take a little road trip, even just a little bit weekend getaway, which we're gonna be doing quite a few weekend getaways this year. That's kind of our plan for 2024 is to get out on the road, do some more road trips. And as you can see right behind me, we have our Ford Mustang Mach-E. And so let's go ahead and let's talk about the car if you're new to the channel. So you get an idea of what we're doing here and where we're going and uh, maybe some future plans we'll discuss as well. So let's jump in and take a look. All right, so you join us in the garage right now. We have our 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E. We're gonna be taking this on a road trip tomorrow. So just so if you're not aware, if you're new to the channel, if you've forgotten, 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E. This is the rear wheel drive trim. It is the standard battery. So we have the smaller battery in here. It's kind of the premium, so it's not the base model, but it's the next one up, but um, it's a great car. We love this car. We've had it for over two years now. I've done our one year review and our two year review on it. We're actually just hitting about, we just hit a little over 16, 17,000 miles now. So we don't have too many miles on the car. We put a lot on the car in the first year we owned it, but not too much since then because it's become my wife's daily driver and I have started driving this on my daily basis to and from work and so and this is my tesla model 3 performance which we also have plenty of videos road trip videos on this as well we've had this for just over a year but this video is going to be primarily about the ford mustang mach e because we're going to be taking this on a road trip as some of you may know because you might be watching this we actually will have access to the supercharger network very soon we actually technically do but we don't have the adapter <laughs> not yet at least Already got the order in for the adapter. The adapter should be in very, very soon. And hopefully we'll have uh, some more road trips in the future. Because in all honesty, in my opinion, this is the better vehicle to road trip over the Tesla Model 3. If you take the charging network and put that to the side, you take it out of the equa equation, this is definitely the better and more comfortable riding vehicle out of these two. And so we really do like to take the Mach-E on some longer road trips. We like we enjoy the ride. Uh, the CCS network infrastructure is terrible, but now if we have some Tesla superchargers in the mix, that will make things a lot easier. And um, overall, I just got to say that this car is great, and that's why we're going to be taking this one on a road trip right now, uh, or I should say tomorrow, uh, in this vehicle, because we just like it so much and uh, it's a fantastic car. Uh, it doesn't come without its quirks. It does have some issues. We do have to, you know, deal with some little quirks with the Ford versus, you know, the Tesla. But overall, the car is pretty solid and we enjoy it very, very much. As you can see here, we got our vehicle charging right now. We have our Tesla universal wall connector over there on the wall that is currently charging our Tesla, uh, excuse me, our Ford Mustang Mach-E at a rate of about 11 kilowatts or 48 amps. So we're fully maxing out the vehicle and the charger right now. We're going to get this up to about 80% tonight. And then tomorrow morning, as soon as I wake up, I'm going to take out my phone, hit the button, try to charge it up as far as we can get it before we leave for the day. So will we get to 100%? Probably not, but we don't have to because no matter which way we look at it, we are going to need to stop. And speaking of stopping, let's jump in the car right now. Take a look at the map and I'll show you where we're going, 
why we're going there, and just kind of show you what the route is looking like as of right now. All right, everybody, you join me now in the Mach-E, and as you can see here, we got about 34% state of charge, a rated range of about 66 miles on that. So once again, smaller battery in the Mach-E. Now, the cool thing about this particular Mach-E is it because it's a rear-wheel drive model, and because it's a smaller battery, which means it weighs less, this is one of the most efficient Mach-E's that you can buy, at least in 2021. Um, and by efficient, I mean it usually gets the best range considering the size of the battery. So we usually get really good range on this car. EPA rated range is about 230 miles. And I have proven that I can probably do about 230 miles doing about 70 miles per hour in this car. It's actually really, really impressive. You can probably get about 300 miles if you were to take your time, do 45, 50 miles an hour. You could probably easily do 300 miles in this car. But as far as tomorrow goes, we will be doing this trip here. So we are in the Myrtle Beach area of South Carolina over here on the eastern side of the state. And we will be traveling basically to the clear other side of South Carolina tomorrow. Now, this is roughly a, uh, what is it, like a four-hour trip or so, uh, 247 miles. This says six hours. Please disregard that this charger it wants us to stop at right now because we will not be stopping there because we'll be all charged up before we leave tomorrow. So disregard this. But uh, we will be going to this one right here, which is a Tesla supercharger. Now, you're probably wondering, well, how can you go to a Tesla supercharger if you don't have your adapter? Well, as you can see right here, this says Tesla Magic Dock. So this actually has, this is one of the few superchargers in really South Carolina that has an actual magic dock at a supercharger, which is really cool. And I've never actually charged this vehicle or any vehicle at a uh, Tesla supercharger magic dock before. So I'm really kind of curious to see. The other thing I also want to test is, does plug-in charge work with the Tesla supercharger through magic dock? We do know that now they've enabled Tesla supercharging for the Mustang Mach-E with the adapter, and it does give you the plug-in charge functionality. Does it also work over the uh, adapter or over the Magic Dock adapter that's at the Tesla supercharger? I have to say yes, but we're going to find out, I think, tomorrow. And if it's the weather's not too bad, I also want to shoot a video about that. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. But this is our destination, which is the Greenville Zoo. So once again, we're taking a weekend trip Saturday, Sunday. We'll be leaving Saturday morning getting to the Greenville area, hopefully by around lunchtime, around 12 or so. And then we will be going into the Greenville Zoo. Now, depending on whether we'll be in the zoo either Saturday afternoon or we'll get there Sunday morning and then we'll be traveling back Sunday morning. So we're really looking forward to this trip and uh, hoping that uh, everything goes well. One stop there. We actually do have a charger at the hotel, a destination charger. It's actually a Tesla destination charger. So we'll actually be uh, using our J1772 adapter in order to use that charger. But we have a little bit of a run tomorrow, stopping at that Tesla supercharger with the Magic Dock, jumping over to the destination for the night and then tomorrow or i should say sunday afternoon we'll be coming back in this direction possibly stopping at the exact same charger that we did uh going out but we'll see depending on weather depending on how things are and efficiency and whatnot this is what the trip is looking like now we could probably get from home all the way out to roughly this area probably somewhere in between but uh, once again, I do want to really stop at that charger and see how it is. So we're going to try to charge the car up as much as we possibly can. We're already at 35% state of charge. This will stop charging at 1021 tonight. Tomorrow morning, I'll hit the button, let it go, charge up, and we'll be good to go. All right, everybody. So you're going to join us here in just a moment on our road trip. But I wanted to take one minute and just kind of reach out to you and talk to you about just things that we're doing on the channel for this year. 2024, I'm hoping, is going to be a really big year for tech motoring. We're really looking to kind of grow the channel, do some different things with it partnering with other people or companies to get some more and better content for you. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel. Once again, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, like the videos, follow us. We have so many videos from road trips that we've done years ago. I highly recommend taking a look at it. Even if it's cars you're not really interested in, some really fun times we've had in electric vehicles and road tripping them all up and down the East Coast. And we even recently took the Tesla Model 3 all the way out to Colorado. Fantastic time we had. But watch that video. It's it's really kind of cool to see the Tesla supercharger network at work 
all the way, almost all the way across the country. Really, really cool to see. But we're really hoping, we're really, really looking forward to 2024. We got some awesome road trips that we're going to be doing this year. Not going to give away everything, but I will admit we are going to be doing some pretty long road trips this year. Probably not like Colorado long, but some really cool long road trips in maybe the mach -E. Uh, since we're going to have a supercharger access, or maybe we'll take the Tesla depending on what those trips uh, are and how far they are from the house. And, you know, we're always trying to balance the mileage between the two cars anyway, because, you know, we like to keep them pretty close to each other. So once again, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, the like button right below the video. Stay tuned to the channel. If you've been here for a while, if you know the channel, Thank you so much for all your support. We so appreciate it. We are coming up on four years now with Tech Motoring, and I'm just astonished by you know how well uh, basically me as an individual has done a lot with this channel. But really, it comes down to all of you, the viewers out there, the friends, the family, the just everybody out there that's willing to support the channel. Help me out, and it's been fantastic over these four years. So I'd like to thank you very much for doing that. And so make sure you stay tuned to the channel because we are not going anywhere. This channel is going to be a ton of fun this year. I really am excited. I'm really looking forward to what we grow into coming up in 2024. All right. So now that I'm done rambling on, sorry about that. Let's get into the road trip. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning, everybody. Well, it is around, what time is it? Almost seven o'clock. We're topping off the car right now. So it hit 80% last night. And right now we are charging up to as high as we could go before we leave. Um, Someone's really spinning their tires out there. As you can see, as uh, expected, it is raining outside. Not too bad right now, but hopefully it won't get too bad today. And hopefully we'll get through it before our first stop, which will once again be in Columbia, South Carolina for our first stop. And that will get us uh, a supercharger, actually, to... Um, to charge up on. So let's jump on the map and take a look at what we have for today. All right, really cool here. It looks like it has finally calculated out properly. So we're gonna be leaving here. It says we're gonna get to this magic dock here in Columbia at 139 miles, two hours and 43 minutes of driving. And it says we'll be there for about 25 minutes. So 23% it says what we're gonna get there with. 68% is what we need to leave there with to, in order to get to the Greenville Zoo at 15%. Now, I'll probably go a little higher than 68 just because I want to get to Greenville with a little bit more charge. Um, I'm going to try to avoid going to like a DC fast charger while we're in Greenville because there's plenty of level twos around. So we'll just have to see how we play that out. But uh, yeah, so we have our first stop and only stop today in Columbia at a Tesla supercharger, which is really cool. And then we'll be shooting over to Greenville to finish up the day so looking forward to this hopefully this weather holds out and whether or not the rain happens today or tomorrow or depending on the weather will de 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 will determine whether or not we will go to the zoo today or tomorrow so let's get in the car let's get going all right everybody good morning so it is unfortunately a very crappy and rainy morning it is but we are hopefully heading westbound towards the storm which means we'll be on the other side of it before we hit our destination, hopefully before we hit our first charger. So 93% state of charge, it predicts we have 195 miles of range on that 93% and 139 miles till our first stop, our first charger. So I'm resetting all of our trip odometers here, throw up our navigation, put on some tunes, and we will see you on the road. So just getting on the highway, we can look over here, current situation, 92% state of charge, 192 miles till our first stop, 137, excuse me, 192 miles of range, 137 to our first stop. Over here, you can see our total trip is four hours and 47 minutes, that's with charging, and uh, our first charger should be about a 20 minute stop right there in Columbia, South Carolina at that supercharger. So really looking forward to the trip today. We go into details here, it just shows us that we're gonna be getting to that first charger with roughly 26%. It suggests that we charge up to 63, and that'll get us to Greenville at 11% state of charge. 
So once again, we'll probably go a little bit above that 63 just to have the extra buffer when we get to Greenville. And then we'll be charging up around that area this weekend. All right, hopefully we get out of this rain in the next hour or so. So we are just about 70 miles into our trip here. As you can see, about an hour and 23 minutes in. And we're only at three and a half miles per kilowatt hour because it is still raining. The roads are still very wet outside. As you can see, we have pretty minimal climate use, even though we're probably using just a little bit of heat uh, as it is 63 degrees out right now. And most of our stuff is going to all that stuff, as you can see there. So overall doing pretty well. The uh, Mach-E is very comfortable. Unfortunately, we uh, don't have hands-free in this area, just basic lane centering, but it's doing a pretty good job. And uh, yeah, we're just kind of cruising along. See you in a little bit. All right, so we are just on Route 378. Now, if you're not really familiar with the Myrtle Beach or where we live, there's not really many major highways that connect to it. You always got to do these little offshoot back roads for some length of time to get to a highway to get you into Myrtle Beach. So right now we got off of 501, which is sort of the major tourist highway for people to get in. And we're on 378 West, which as soon as we got on, it said you have 60 miles on this road. So it's 60 miles of just two lane, one this way, one that way of 55 mile an hour speed limits or lower in some cases. So now we're just kind of cruising on that. We're just, um, you know, it's still raining outside. Not too bad, but it's still raining. There's a little bit of flooding out on the roads. Uh, we're only doing about three and a half miles per kilowatt hour, uh, mainly just due to the rain and uh, some of the friction they're getting from having the wipers on and whatnot. So three and a half miles per kilowatt hour is not bad for doing about 55 miles an hour or so. But uh, we've got a little bit longer left on this road before we uh, finally get to a highway, which is going to get us to our first charging station in Columbia, South Carolina. And uh, I kind of spoiled it in the previous video, but we are going to Greenville to go to the zoo. <laughs> so we're going to another zoo. Uh, so if you remember previous videos, we had taken a trip out to um, Charlotte to see some family out there to go to the North Carolina Zoo. Yes. Which was okay. It was alright. We, we liked it, but it was a lot of construction going on. Like, they yeah. were really expanding the zoo out, so. Um, and then when we took our trip out to Colorado. That was a beautiful We went zoo. to the Cheyenne Mountain Cheyenne? Zoo. Yes, that's what I said. Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. <laughs> <clears throat> um, and that was a really nice zoo up in the mountains. Yeah, that was Colorado, beautiful. just that's really, really cool. The scenery was beautiful. Oh yeah, yeah. Looking away from the zoo was just like gorgeous. You could see everything uh, Colorado has to offer. So that was really cool. So now we're kind of on the zoo kick for the last year or so. <laughs> so that's why we're like, okay, let's let's find some destinations, some weekend destinations that are not too far from the house that we can go to yeah. and uh, see some animals and, and whatnot. So it's kind of my birthday tradition now. We can make it your birthday tradition every <laughs> every March, every spring. When you know things clear up, it's not so cold. We could spend some time outside. We could go to the zoo. <laughs> we'll have to just keep picking a zoo every year. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's why we're going to Greenville um, just to get away for a weekend. Yeah. And like I was saying previously, we're going to be doing a lot more of these trips this year. Weekend trips or long weekend trips. we got a couple bigger trips that we have to do this year as well. So we are definitely not going to have a shortage of road trips this year. Uh, some may be in the Mach-E, some may be in the Tesla, depending. But uh, yeah, so it's just really cool to um, have all these options now once we get our adapter with the Mach-E that we can charge at Tesla Superchargers. And um, yeah, it kind of opens up. A lot more places that we can go and feel more comfortable doing it. Yeah, definitely. So, anyway, we're gonna just get back on the road and keep going, and um, yeah, we'll I guess we'll see you at the first stop.
right, so we are now at the end of that 60 mile stretch on 378, and it has now given us another 57 mile stretch on 378. <laughs> so um, we're through a town called Turboville, uh, which is a really just small town in the middle of pretty much South Carolina. And um, yep, you always gotta be careful going through this town because I hear it gets a lot of a lot of people cutting through here and cops are usually pretty uh, pretty aggressive in this area. So we gotta make sure we take it easy. But uh, other than that, we're doing some pretty good time here. The rain has started to slow down, but it is starting, it is raining a little bit. So hopefully this will end before we get to the charger. And uh, right now we're at 57% state of charge, 119 miles of range, 62 miles to the charger. So plenty of, uh, plenty of buffer there. And uh, yeah, 61 miles to the charger, 100, uh, an hour and 11 minutes to get there. So it looks like we're gonna be averaging a little less than 60 miles per hour for the next uh, 60 miles or so. But anyway, we're uh, still cruising along. It's pretty nice outside, not much traffic on the roads, which is nice to see. And uh, we'll uh, be at the charger in a little bit. Okay, we finally got to a road with some Blue Cruise hands-free here. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe this road, the Blue Cruise hands-free kicks off every once in a while, just randomly. And we'll have to see how that goes as we go further on this road. But as you can see here, we got a hundred miles till we are empty. Yep, there it is. The Blue Cruise hands-free has just shut off. It's very random on this road. I remember this from a previous trip that we took. Uh, I believe it was when we went out to Tennessee with this. This road is just very, random as far as when you get hands-free and when you don't get hands-free there we just lost it all together <laughs> very weird and i'm sure it'll come back here at any second now and be like if nothing ever happened but anyway about 100 miles of range left in the car only 45 to the charger everything's looking pretty good over here uh, we're cutting some time off of our arrival which is really cool to see and uh, we'll be at the tesla supercharger in just a little bit so made it to these version 4 dispensers really cool looking dispensers here just to show you our statistics 137 miles to get here two hours and 40 minutes so three and a half miles per kilowatt hour not too bad rain really sapped it out of the car though 26 percent state of charge and um we're gonna charge up here we got 108 miles to finish up this trip so uh yeah we're gonna charge up here for a little bit i gotta shoot a video on the magic dock and these chargers and then uh, kind of go from there all right, so these are the version four cabinets. Now these are not version four superchargers. They're still using the old version three um, supercharging electrical equipment at the time. But uh, for now, this is the supercharger with the magic dock. So up in here is actually the magic dock portion of the superchargers. These are nice handles they put on these, really cool. So now I believe in order to charge a CCS vehicle now with plug-in charge, you don't have to activate the charger from the app on your phone. What you actually do is hold down this button for two seconds. So we're gonna do one, two, ah, it released. 
up and then out. All right, still fiddling over here at the Tesla supercharger. It's pretty empty right now, which is really nice. We're currently at 74% state of charge. I was just looking at the car scanner app. We're pulling close to about, uh, you know, 60 something, almost 70 kilowatts right now, which is pretty typical for this. We were getting a pretty decent charging session, shot up to about 108 kilowatts at around 28, 29%, held it there for a little bit, and then it started tapering down. P typical Mach-E, uh, you know, charging curve there. So what we did here is we took a extra, well, we added in an extra destination, which is our hotel. So as you can see, our hotel is here is in Greenville, and then the zoo is over here. Now, depending on how the weather is when we get into this area, we'll determine if we're going to the zoo today, or if it's still crappy and rainy, we might do the zoo tomorrow. So we're going to see, we're going to just play it by ear, but I got the hotel in there just in case we decide to go there first. In the meantime... Um, I think we got plenty of battery here. We got 31% state of charge when we hit the hotel, 28% when we hit the zoo, if we decide to go to the zoo today. Uh, so I think overall we're doing perfectly fine as far as time-wise. We've got about 100 miles to go, hour and 41 minutes, and uh, it says we should be there, well, let's see, about an hour and 55 minutes. So just after 12 o'clock, which is fine. That works for me. So I think what we're gonna do now is just unplug at 76 percent i have no idea what we're being charged right now as far as the money because uh, i just wanted to try this so we need to kill the charging which i believe we could do with this button right here and there we go so this is just unlocked we're going to hit this button pull this out and get this back up into the supercharger like like so yep locked in all right, let's get back in the car. Well, better close the flap there. There we go. Let's get back in the car, get back on the road. And one more thing to point out, I'm just noticing here that it got built through the Ford app. So that's interesting there. So we see that it got built through the Ford app for the plug-in charge. So not through like the Tesla app or anything. And uh, let's see if we have any, of course it just like broke, but Yep, it just says your charge session is complete and $14.08 has been billed to your preferred payment method. It would be really nice if they gave us a little bit more details, but maybe somewhere else in the app. Finally on a proper hands-free zone here on Route 26 in South Carolina. Our battery's currently 66% state of charge, 155 miles of range, 86 miles to our destination, which is the hotel, unless we decide to go to the zoo today, which as you can tell from the weather, it does appear to be clearing up. We were having some little glints of sunshine just a little while ago. Uh, and in the meantime, we still got an hour and a half before we even get there. So hopefully, we can get through all this cloudage and uh, rain that's still kind of spitting down on us and have a nice afternoon in Greenville anyway. In the meantime, you can see here from this screen that we are currently at 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour and we've been, for the most part, for the last 33 minutes, we've been doing highway speeds, about 65. And so you can see there's a huge difference in efficiency from when you're going through rain you know, all that extra friction of, of trying to push through all that water and rain that's on the road versus uh, not having to do that, or at least not as much. The roads are still a little wet, but not terrible. But yeah, so we are almost a half a mile per kilowatt hour better, and we're going faster than we were, which is pretty crazy. But anyway, we are on the road. We are lo really looking forward to some sun, hopefully, in a little bit. The uh, temperature is looking good, about 69 degrees right now. Uh, so yeah, it looks like it might be. Uh, look at it. There's there's some sun coming through. It's starting to peek through now. Very nice. 
So anyway, we're really hoping that we're uh, gonna see some sun so sunshine here and uh, maybe some animals at the same time. What do you think of that? Yes. You ready I'm for excited. it? Uh -huh. I'm ready for it. Yes. Let's let's hopefully let's get to the zoo today. Greenville, South Carolina, it is still raining, raining. outside. Um, so the zoo is only about eight miles from where we are, so it's not that it's too far. So the weather's not going to change all that much between here and there. It does look like it's going to clear up this afternoon and we're not going to have any more rain, but it's supposed to be cloudy for the rest of the day. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to postpone the zoo till tomorrow. And today we're just gonna get to the hotel. We're early, so we probably can't get into our room. But we gotta find something to eat. Yeah. So we gotta get lunch and then get to the hotel, maybe check in, get our stuff into the room. And then I think we're gonna go into downtown Greenville um, just to uh, see what that's all about. So that's kind of what we're doing now. So unfortunately it's still raining and even if we do happen to get to the zoo in the next 30 minutes or so. It's only going to leave us like four hours at the yeah. zoo. Not that that's not a lot of time, but it, tomorrow we'll have more time to go to the zoo. So that's what we're doing right now. So I guess we'll see you at the hotel. All right, made it to the hotel. We just about 100 miles to get here, an hour and 45 minutes, three miles per kilowatt hour. It started downpouring again, and we lost so much efficiency because of that. We were at 22% state of charge. We were supposed to get here with like 30 something, but uh, thankfully we got some destination chargers here and I got my adapter. So we'll go ahead and plug in here, get the car charged up, and then uh, we're gonna run inside. Maybe we can get some uh, check in early. I'm gonna check my phone here in a minute, but uh, if not, we're gonna find some place to eat. Hopefully. All right, we're plugged in right now. It shows that we're pulling about eight kilowatts, so not too bad. I think they might be shared as well. I have to check plug share again, but uh, any charging is better than no charging. So we got ourselves plugged in, charging up. So we'll go ahead and let this charge for a little bit while we figure out what we're going to be doing, and then we'll kind of go from there. So. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to do the zoo today. That is unfortunate just due to the weather. Unfortunately, that is what we have to deal with. But tomorrow, yeah. we'll wake up early. We'll get to the zoo as soon as it opens at 9 o'clock. We'll spend yeah. most of the day there, and we'll go from there. In the meantime, we got to figure out what we want to do today now. Get food. I'm hungry. we got to get food. All right. We'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> All right. Just had an awesome lunch over here at this Tipsy Taco is what it's called. Really cool place <laughs> to have some Tex-Mex they claim to be. And uh, now we're gonna be going into Greenville for a little bit just to kind of hang out. Um, looks like we're gonna be going to this parking garage, which is about eight miles away. In 400 um, feet, so they have a charger in that the garage. They line. actually have a DC fast charger in that garage too. Um, not that we're gonna need that, but 23% state of charge right now. We'll probably get there. It'll be a couple, couple lower, but uh, yeah. So that's where we're heading for now until our hotel is ready. All right, here we go. So here we are at the 
top level of a parking garage here in Greenville. This place is packed right now, but look at this view. Really, really nice. Rain is starting to slow up, which is really cool. I'm gonna go for a walk around Greenville. And uh, yeah, here we go. So as we were walking back through the garage on our way out, we came across this DC fast charger here. This looks like it's an old system. I couldn't even tell you how old it is. I'd have to look at it, but man, is this thing old as hell. Looking at the charging rate and it's only charging at about three kilowatts. I think it was about four. <laughs> this thing is so slow for a DC charger. Wow. Must be some really old infrastructure in this this uh, garage here. Crazy. Got some of these Tesla destination chargers at the True by Hilton Hotels. Really nice because they're not just for Teslas anymore. You can also utilize these with an adapter. So really cool that we got some charging here for us today. So what we're going to do is we're going to let the car charge up because we pulled in about 14%. So we're going to let the car charge up. We're going to go out, walk over for dinner over across the street. And then uh, probably before bed tonight, we'll go ahead and unplug the car. This way, if anybody comes in late, they can use the charger for themselves. So now we're gonna get into the room. Really like these True by Hilton's, nice hotels. Good morning, everybody. So I went ahead and moved the car last night before we went to bed. We were about high 70s day to charge, but it's kind of cold outside. So um, what I'm going to do is go move it back to the charger, plug it in for like the next hour or so, just to top charge it a little bit. And then we're going to head off to the zoo in a little bit. So stay tuned. Looks like the charging stations haven't been taken yet. So I could have probably left my car there last night, but I just wanted to be courteous to people just in case they needed the charge, came in late low state of charge don't want to have to run out to a charger before you spend the night so i parked over here around the building and there we are so let's go ahead and get it warmed up preconditioned and plugged in all right just sitting in the car getting ready for our trip here so we have to go to the zoo i got the car pre preconditioning the cabin here to try to clean off the windshield it's little bit of frost from last night but really nothing too major here so we got about an eight and a half mile drive to the zoo this morning and uh yep we're just plugged still plugged into the uh destination chargers over here just to get some extra juice while we were inside getting breakfast and um we were up to about 86 percent right now probably jump up to 87 before we leave uh, but yeah, so we are good to go. Let's take a quick look at these destination chargers. Really kind of a nice setup here at the True. So this is where we're plugged into two Tesla destination chargers. Weirdly enough, nobody came last night to uh, charge up. When I came out this morning, they were still empty. So 
could have left the car, but oh well. Good morning, everybody. So we are packed up in the car heading to the zoo uh, for today. It looks like it is a beautiful day out here. Um, I think it was about six, it's gonna be about 60 degrees today. It's like 46 right now that it's estimating. So, so yeah, looking forward to the zoo. You looking forward to the zoo? I'm excited. I know you're excited. <laughs> So we are getting to the zoo. We're just about uh, like eight miles from the hotels where the zoo's located. Really not too bad. We were gonna stay in Greenville last night for dinner, but there was an SEC basketball tournament going on or something, or game last night in Greenville. And we decided to leave early and just get dinner um, close to the hotel just because I was afraid that the traffic might have been really bad. And as we were sitting down for dinner last night, we looked at the Google Maps and it was just, red, 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 like every street was red. And so, yeah, they were definitely pretty packed in there last night. And it was a good thing we didn't stay to uh, get dinner because I think we would have been, stuck. we would have been stuck in some major traffic there mm -hmm. with the game going on. <laughs> but so we're just driving on the main road right now and uh, warming up the car, getting it ready. We left with about 87% state of charge. We're already down to 84 because of uh, just the excess of heating up the cabin plus, um, you know, just trying to get all the drivetrain components moving and whatnot. So, um, we're gonna drop down a little bit to, you know, probably 80% by the time we get there, maybe 82, uh, which is fine, because that'll that'll keep the car, we'll sit, we'll, it'll, ah, the car will sit there for a few hours while we're at the zoo. Uh, this way I don't have to worry about it sitting at like 95% if we were to fully charge. And then we'll just get on the road about 80%, start heading home, probably stop at maybe the same supercharger we did on the way here. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be it. So about four, I'm gonna say about four and a half hours to get home. It took us about five hours to get here, right? Yeah. Um, and that was with the rain and the traffic that we hit and all that stuff. So as long as we don't hit any major of those. Yeah, weather. Four and a half hours should be good. Traffic. So, all right, well, we are getting to the zoo here and uh, we'll put some B-roll in here for you to enjoy. <laughs> and then we'll see you back in the car when we're leaving. We got here a little early, actually. I thought it was gonna take us a little longer to get here, but they open up at nine o'clock, so we got about 15 minutes to waste. Over there, you could see the two uh, J1772 Clipper Creek level two chargers they have here, which is really nice. Um, I knew they were here, but I wasn't sure if we were gonna be able to get them today, so I didn't wanna take a chance to then come here with a low battery and not be able to get them. But we're gonna go ahead and get into the zoo in a few minutes here and uh, see what it's all about. I just have this weird feeling it's not gonna be very busy today. Massive lines here at the Greenville Zoo. Hopefully we get admission today. Don't know. Probably gonna be online for at least 20 or 30 minutes before we get in there. I mean, look at this parking lot. You can't see a spot open for anything. All packed up. Wow, gonna be a busy day. Sarcasm. <laughs>
All right, finished up at the zoo. It was a nice zoo, a little small. Spent about two hours there. Some competition for the Chargers. Got two already there. Tesla over there, Tesla next to us. So uh, lots of EVs, but need more places to charge. That is for sure. But anyway, we went ahead and put our home destination in. Instead, we've got two stops on our way home. We're not gonna do this. We're gonna change this, and we're literally just gonna replace this with the Tesla Supercharger, the same one that we hit on the way here because that's the one that makes the most sense and i believe that is it right there lowe's foods of forest acres that looks like it because that was just really easy oh, look at that it says it doesn't support plug and charge but we know it does because we've tried it so they have to update this system uh but yep that looks like it so what we're going to do is we're going to say select let that do its thing and then Hopefully that will get us where we need to go in one stop instead of two. Please drive to highlighted route. It still says two, but we, we're not gonna deal with that. We're gonna go straight home. So 115 miles to get there. It says we'll get there with about 25% state of charge. Then it says 103 miles to the next charger and then 82 from there. I think it's going a different way. Yeah, this is definitely going a different way than the way we came. So we took a lot of like, I think back roads through this way, maybe. Yeah, because we took 378 in. So that's why this is telling us to go out through 20, which is a lot longer and probably unnecessary. So we'll go ahead and adjust, but let's get to that first station at the Tesla and then we'll go from there. All right, we'll see you on the road. So back on the road, so we were at the zoo. It was a small zoo, not typically the ones that we go to. We usually go to some of the bigger ones and spend, you know, four or five hours there. But after about an hour, you pretty much can see everything. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> even and then- the, Even the gift shop. Even the gift shop, <laughs> which ironically is not on the way out. It's actually kind of like in the middle. Um, but it was a nice zoo, it was a nice place. If you ever go to Greenville, you want to, you know, spend an hour or two you could very easily do that at the zoo. So it's a nice place to go. And um, yeah, it's good. It's good to see a favorite animal there. Red pandas. Red pandas. <laughs> Adorable. Adorable. I put some B-roll footage of them uh, previous to this. But uh, yeah, definitely the most adorable. Yes. <laughs> so cute. And you, and you know you know they have those red pandas there because like you go in the gift shop and there's like red panda this Everywhere. red panda, everything's red panda <laughs> they know everybody loves the red pandas but uh yeah so it was a good time though nice zoo a little small but hey you know whatever we're out exploring different areas different places to go and taking the electric vehicle along the way and seeing the different infrastructure and it was really cool to see that the zoo actually had some electric vehicle chargers there which was kind of nice albeit they're going to need some more very yes. soon because there was just from what we saw on the way back to our car there was five evs in the parking lot mm -hmm. and only two chargers so yes. definitely can use some more of that uh level two stuff there at the zoo but mm -hmm. other than that it's been a great trip we're heading back right now we got about another i don't know what do we got let's take a look 104 miles hour and a half roughly to get to the supercharger the same supercharger that we did on the way here and um, yeah so we'll go ahead and just plug right back into there because we know there's plenty of stalls we know it works we know it's plug and play with the Mach-E which is really cool now even though it says it's not plug and play on the uh, Ford navigation yet yeah um, but yeah so we're gonna stop there on our way back get some lunch there probably or somewhere in that area and mm -hmm. then we'll just be home early afternoon sounds good yeah. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no, I think you said everything. Yeah, I say a lot of stuff. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, well, we are cranking right now. We got the Blues Cruise hands-free running. We got about a 46-mile buffer in the tank that we have to try to burn off before our arrival at the Supercharger in uh, Columbia, South Carolina there. So it says right now we're going to get there with 22%, 23 now. 
uh, it said it was like 25 when we were leaving. So we're gonna try to burn off as much of this buffer as we possibly can, get there with a nice low state of charge, and uh, kind of go from there. Now, you're probably not normally used to hear me saying that because we're normally stopping at Electrify Americas or like a charge point with two stations and you don't really have much redundancy. But in this case, we wanna to try to burn as much as we can because we're going to a supercharger. We know we got a lot of opportunity there, a lot of stalls, very little chance that there's gonna be, you know, uh, down chargers or too many cars there. So we're just gonna burn as much as we can to get to that supercharger. All right, at the Tesla supercharger again, grab the same stall as last time as well. We got the low battery warning just a little while back. Couldn't burn off the extra juice. 23% is all we got down to. Let's take a look at what our efficiency was. It came back up to 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour. At one point I had it down to three. Can't believe that. Hour and 48 minutes of driving, 110 miles. And uh, we did pretty good with efficiency as you can see. And we were doing a pretty good clip at a while there. So now it shows two chargers, but we're gonna see if we can make this into one because we got here with one. There's no reason why we can't get back home with one. So we're gonna get the car plugged in, we're gonna get it charged up, and then I'm gonna tinker with some stuff here. In the meantime, while we're here, let's go ahead and discuss exactly how this works with plug-in charge now. Let's go ahead, and open this port, open that door. We're gonna go ahead and grab this, hold it one, two. Pull out the magic jock like that. And let's count. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, and they were blinking. Boom. Ten seconds. Ten second handshake for that plug-in charge to work. I think I was calling it plug and play before on our way here, but it's plug-in charge. So plug-in charge took 10 seconds, that was it. So here we are now at the Lowe's Foods with the Tesla Magic Dock. We are charging up probably around 110 kilowatts like we were seeing before. I was hoping to get it lower so we can see what it did at a lower state of charge. Um, but yeah, whatever. It says we'll be at 80% by hour, uh, 118 p.m. So that's about 30 minutes from now. Actually, look at that, just jumped down as it speeds up a little bit. Ford, please put in here how fast we're charging. How hard is that to do? Just put in a kilowatt rating. Um, 108, so yeah, it looks like we're only gonna be here for about 20 minutes or so. Uh oh, did we just, oh no, we're still charging, okay, good. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we gotta really get that going here, Ford. Put a kilowatt rating in here so we can see what we're looking at, geez. 25% already, 80% by 108. I'm thinking we need probably about 85% to be comfortable to get home from here. But uh, we're gonna go get some lunch anyway because it is a uh, quarter to one already. To highlighted route. And it's yelling at me to start moving. So, all right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, well, we are already charged up to 78% after I don't know how long we've been here for, maybe 15 or 20 minutes. So that's looking really, really cool. And, um, it says we still want to stop one more time. See, it says not required. So you could turn this off. Add 12% is what we're going to get home. So it's saying add, like, do you want to add chargers? Like, no, I don't want to add chargers. That's the whole point. But why doesn't it work when I say go home? Home. 
No, it just calculates. Maybe it's too far. It just calculates. Continue 700 Weird. feet, then turn left. Well, it's very unnecessary for us to have to stop. So we got about 103 miles, 82 miles. So that's about 185 miles if we were to go this route. Now, the shorter route, which is the way we came here, which was through 378, which if we zoom in, that's what this is down here. And that will take us out um, to where we need to go. So the question is, what do we want to do here? So let's go back. Let's cancel this trip again. And let's just type in Myrtle Beach. And say yes. And we're saying, no, we don't want to calculate for chargers. And now it's going to give us multiple different ways of getting there, as we can see. So the question is now, do we want to take this route here? Or do we want to take this route here? And let's see. So this is 148 miles. That one is 138 miles. So really, not too bad. 138, 148 miles. So if we go this way, this will be probably a little bit quicker, I guess, as far as highway goes. Whereas this is going to be a lot slower going through this area. Hmm. What do we want to do? You want to do back roads? Or do you want to do more highways? Hmm. Well, we took the back roads coming here, so we could do highway. If you Somebody want to do wants highway. to fly home. All right, so let's go ahead and just aim for that route there. So it's 148 miles, two hours and 35 minutes supposedly. It says we're going to get there with 13% state of charge. Let's hit go. No, I don't want to add chargers. That's why I said Continue don't. 700 feet, then turn Unpaved left. Unpaved roads. That's uh, something that happens at want for some reason details 148 miles says we'll get home with 14 percent state of charge that is plenty so 82 percent is where we're at and uh, i think what we're going to do is just unplug here in about two or three minutes and then we're going to get going on to road all right we are heading out right now let's go ahead hit this button wait for that to click grab this roll it over to charger boom back in close the lid we're done and we are out back on the road all right pulling out of the charger we are at 86 percent state of charge it says we have 193 but that's going to disappear as soon as we start driving 149 miles to home will we make it will we not we're going to find out here on the next episode of tech motoring Just getting on the road here. We got the Blue Cruise kicking along. We got 180 miles in the tank, 150 miles to destination, 30 mile buffer. So we're gonna see if we could eat into that a little bit. 81% state of charge currently. And uh, weather's beautiful, only about 64 degrees outside. So we can't get much more efficient than this. So we are having no problems getting home on this charge. And uh, yeah, so been a good trip so far, not too much. Um, not too much stuff going on, except for the fact that we almost accidentally drove into a military base at one point, because uh, there was no signs, and anyway, that's the past. But anyway, well, let's look forward to uh, the rest of this trip now. So it says we'll be home before four o'clock, so that's our goal is four o'clock.
Well, on our final stretch home here, it looks like we're going to be home with about 12%, or at least that's what it's expecting as of right now. We can see here we've got about 62 miles of range left, 33 miles left in our trip, and 27% currently battery state of charge. So, yeah, really good. Once again, super efficient, this car. Man, this thing is just the efficiency king. You can see right now we're at 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour. Really, really good considering the speeds we were doing. All right, we'll see you back at the house and wrap this video up. home sweet home final stats 12 percent is what we made it home with exactly what the car said it was 157 miles in that last leg two and a half hours 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour amazing efficiency so this is the whole trip today 263 total miles today four hours and 21 minutes of driving and a little bit of idling 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour was our total for today really good this is our complete and total there, back, and a little bit around Greenville, 534 miles altogether, about 10 and a half hours of driving, 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour. I'm seeing a trend. All right, let's talk about this trip and dive into it. All right, there we go. Another one in the books for the Maki. -E. So, not really a long road trip, one of our shorter ones, but it was a nice weekend getaway. Um, so I guess let's just talk about the trip real quick. So Greenville, South Carolina, pretty much clear across the other side of South Carolina from us. Um, nice area. Yeah. It's okay. Whatever. <laughs> went, went to the zoo. It was fine. Went around Greenville for a little bit. Okay. I mean, it's there's probably a lot more there that we just didn't have time to see or anything, but like, it was kind of a nice area. Just, it's really big now. Like it used to yeah. be, well, from what I heard, it used to be a lot different 10 years ago, but. Lots uh, of traffic. Yeah, and I don't know if we just picked a bad weekend because it seemed like there was things was going the on. But game. the basketball thing, I think, took up a lot yeah. of the uh, population for this weekend. But overall, Greenville's a nice place. It was a nice area. Yeah. But uh, as far as the trip went, so just to kind of recap, we stopped once there on the way there and once on the way back and both were at the exact same supercharger which once again saying supercharger with the Mach-E is weird because that wasn't a thing a year ago now with magic dock and soon enough once we get our adapter superchargers in general will be um usable by us with this vehicle and like i said at the very beginning of this video is that I prefer to road trip this car versus the Model 3, just because this is a bigger vehicle, more space, uh, comfortable ride. Um, so I usually like to, you know, travel with this one, but um, now we can do that more confidently with using superchargers. And we also verified that the plug and charge works through Magic Dock, yes. which wasn't really a concern. I kind of figured it would, but I figured I would just shoot a video about it anyway, just because it'd be kind of cool to see. So, um, plug and charge works on Electrify America with this car. Plug and charge works on auto. Well, technically it's auto charge on EVgo, and now plug and charge works on Tesla superchargers. Mm. So, any thoughts, comments? Um, I think it was a great ride. Um, we had a great time at the zoo. Um, and I think the charging went smoothly too, so. It went as smoothly as, well, basically driving the Tesla. Yeah. We got there, took the cable out of the thing, albeit adapter was already attached to it. But I mean, literally all we had, we didn't even have to use the app. Well, that was the best part is we didn't have to use the app on the phone to activate the charger. We just held the button down on the handle for two seconds. It went ka clunk You took the thing out of the, the charger mm -hmm. cabinet, walked over to your car, plugged it in, I counted a 10 second handshake 
between the, the charger and the vehicle, and boom, charging. It was charging. It was exactly like having a Tesla. Yeah. Very smooth. Yeah. And that's all that matters. Moving forward, that's how this is going to work for everybody. Absolutely. So, yeah. But that's pretty much it. So, once again, I'd like to thank all of you for watching this episode. And uh, we are really excited about 2024. The spring is here. Today is daylight saving. So, today's going to be the long, first long day, well, longish day of the year. It's going to be later. Um, but, yeah, so we're extremely excited about that. And we got a lot of road trips planned already for this year, not including some random ones that may pop up. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe to the channel if you a Tesla owner, mach -E owner, whatever. Subscribe to the channel. we got a lot of content on this stuff, and we will have a lot more content coming up. And possibly, eventually, maybe a new vehicle soon. What are you not telling me? Oh, I already told you all this. You know about this. They might not know about this. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how 2025 is. But anyway, thanks again, everybody, for watching. Any final thoughts? It's all good. All good. We're all good. And you're all good, and we appreciate you watching, especially to the very end of this video. And, uh, you know, just thanks for all the support over the years. And, um, you know, once again, if you're not a, a subscriber already, just hit the subscribe button. It's free, doesn't cost you anything, and it really helps support the channel. And uh, since you waited all the way to the end, let's finish off the video. At the very end, I'm going to give you some B-roll of the Red Pandas playing around with each other. Yes. <laughs> They're really cute. They're adorable. All right, everybody, have a good one. We'll see you on the next episode. And remember, welcome to the future. And welcome to Tech Motoring. All right, everybody. Enjoy these Red Pandas. <laughs> <laughs>